Okay, so <clears throat> I just returned my Nook, and uh, as I said in one of my last videos, that I was going to go to Sally's, and I did. Um, so I returned something, got money back, and then spent it. But at least I spent it on something that makes me happy. Um, so I went to Sally's. I went to get a couple things. I need to get hair color because my red is kind of fading, and I like it to be like, bam, red. Like my face, because that's red. <laughs> Um, uh, I also wanted to get some stuff that I was running out of for, um, well, to do nails. So I just wanted to show you guys what I got for anybody who's interested in doing your own nails to save yourself some money. Um, I, ended, sorry. <laughs> okay, I ended up spending about 111 ish dollars. Stuff's not cheap, but you know, that's why I said at first, you know, it's going to cost you a little bit of money, but you know, once you have everything that you need, you know, it's just maintenance, keeping up with your products, and, you know, then you don't have to spend $40 every single time you go. So, <clears throat> this is just a few things that I got. Um, I'll try to tell you the prices. Some of the stuff doesn't have prices on it, so, um, yeah, we'll go from there. Alright, so this is the brush I wanted. It is a size 22. Um, if you go to Sally's and look at the brushes, they're all kind of small, and <clears throat> it's hard to do a full nail with a small brush so I figured if I got a bigger brush you know it would cover more of an area um, I do use multiple brushes when I'm doing my nails um, because like for my pinky and stuff I like to use a little bit of a smaller brush just so I have more control of the acrylic so yeah this is size 22 beauty secrets um, and I believe this was $20 that sounds about right it was expensive their brushes are a little more on the expensive side but I like these because they do last. Um, I got a pack off of eBay and they really suck. The bristles fall off and it just, it's awful. Um, okay. I'm going to do these all together. I guess I should have got this ready beforehand. <laughs> Whoops. I think that's all of them. Okay. So, now files. <coughs> Once again, beauty secrets. Um, I like the 100, 180 grit. Um, it just, I don't own a Dremel, so I can't like, you know, use an electrical file. So I do it all by hand. So I got a, ew, got a curved one. You know, kind of helps to keep the shape whenever you're shaping, you know, the, uh, the ends of your nails. So I got a couple of those. And I got one of these just because it said zebra, and I like zebra. So, <clears throat> there's that. Alright, then I got... I'm not files, but buffers. And I got, I don't, I guess I should have, oh, they do say, okay. So I got a, I don't know how you say it. This is a medium fine one. It says medium. I think that's upside, is that upside down? No. Okay. And then this one's a little more rough. Um, I like to use them in order of roughness, so I'd use this one first, and then I'd go lighter. Um, I got the pink one, that's the lightest. Um, kind of just to buff out all the rough edges and then I use this one just to make them smooth. Uh, okay. I got a Spire bonding liquid. This was about $16 I think and that was even with my beauty club card. Okay. I <clears throat> like if you see the girls who have the darker pink right here, right where your pink is. I like the darker pink and I've tried and tried to find it and I can't find it. So I'm guessing that they mix it. Um, but I tried to get close and I ended up getting Intense Pink. That's also an Aspire product. This was about 15 and some change, $15. Um, and you can tell it's a little bit darker so I'm hoping that it's what I want. And then I also got white. Same thing, ASP, Aspire. Um, it was $15 as well. I haven't yet, the the other acrylic that I have is just clear. So it just goes over the entire nail. I've never actually, you know, done the separate pink and white. So that'll be something new I learn. Um, let's see. Okay, I got this just to hold my liquid. It pops open. Somehow it pops open. Uh, oh, that's going to suck. Anyway, that's it. Maybe I'll just like set it on top. I don't know. 
that was <clears throat> I think that was like $3.99 fits a little glass jar it's cute the other one I have is a little glass jar but it doesn't have a top to it so so every time that I use my acrylic liquid you're not supposed to put it back in the bottle so I have to end up throwing it away that's why I ran out so fast because I waste it <clears throat> so okay then I got I tried to find the most thick top coat I could find um, and this was it it's looks like sesh Vite top coat and it's very thick I mean you can't really yeah I guess you can kind of tell um, so it gives you more of the glossy <clears throat> look on your nails I got a lot of little stuff hold on let me get it out okay. ah. I promise next time I'll have this already laid out. <laughs> oh, the price on this. I think this was... I want to say it was like $6.99, so like $7. Um, <clears throat> then I got this. I think it was from the Hunger Games collection. It's a China Glaze, and it is Kinetic Candy. I just liked it because it was like a weird-looking blue. It's, you can't really tell. It's not... I don't know, but it's different, and I liked it, so I figured I'd give it a try. Then I got <clears throat> that itself, I think, was like five-something. Their nail polishes aren't that bad, badly priced. They're cheaper than OPI, and I really like them. Like, my entire collection pretty much is China Glaze. Um, <clears throat> I don't mind spending a little more for nail polishes because I was at Walgreens, I think, and got... Um, a couple nail polishes that were like a dollar ninety nine, and they were really pretty colors, but they uh, they suck. Like I had to use four layers of the nail polish because it just wasn't going on right. And then, you know, once I got it on and it dried and everything, a couple days later, like it was just peeling off, and it was just it sucked. Like it really sucked. So, <clears throat> okay, next I got instant nail glue. I got three of them. These were like a dollar nine, I think. Um, I go through nail glue like crazy. I have issues with not using it enough, and then it dries up, and then I have to pitch it. So I just got a couple. Whatever. I prefer um, the brush-on glue. It's a little easier to control, but I couldn't find it. Okay. Um, then I got this little thingy. Um, I like the bottom. Well, I use the whole thing for cuticles. I have this cuticle remover gel. Um, I love it. But I use it for cuticles. I use this part here to push off, you know, push back the cuticles. And then mostly I use this whenever I'm putting on like gems and decals just to pick them up. I had one, but I lost it. So I had to get another one. It was only like $1.49. That's not bad. Okay. And then I saw on a YouTube video that this girl was dipping her tip of her nail in glitter and it came out really pretty and it's a lot easier than like mixing your glitter in with your acrylic because I'm not that good yet so I got a lot of these little things and I mean they're really pretty glitters really pretty glitters <laughs> um I think they were like a dollar or something but I'll try to hold them up I got a whole bunch of them figured you know I like the little container they're in so I can just you know, either use glue or I could just top coat the tip of my finger and then just like dip it in. So I figured that was a good idea. Um, okay, so that's it for my nail stuff. Um, and then I also had to get hair color because my hair is, yeah, it's not the red that it used to be. Um, so I got this new thing that came out. It's color brilliant, brilliant brights. There's a whole line of them. They're actually got really funky colors. They've got like red, orange, pink. They got like a teal, uh, purple, like a dark blue, a bunch of different. And they're semi permanent, so they're not going to last as long. But I figured I'd give it a shot. Um, and it's just. What's it called? It's just red. There is no name. It's just red. So we're going to give it a shot. <clears throat> I don't know how much that was. So, yeah, that was it so far. Um,. Like I said before, if anybody's looking into doing their own nails and you want to know what you should buy, the best products to use um, to try to save yourself a little bit of money, let me know. Send me a message and I'll let you know what I buy. Um, if you're a Sally shopper, I suggest paying $5 and getting their card. 
it's only five dollars and then it's five dollars to renew it every once a year um, and I suggest that you you definitely get that because it saves you some money and they give you coupons so that's it alrighty thank you for watching